Hi everyone, this is Peter from MindfulShareTrader.com and I just thought I'd have a go at putting up the weekly update in video form for a change. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so first up let's look at the weekly chart of the S&P 500 and we can see that the price is still contained within this long-term uptrend channel. So we've got no, tr no visible change of trend at the moment. We did have all our weakness up here and that's uh, resulted in this... Um, correction so far um, we could still go down into a crash and come down lower it's hard to say but uh, at the moment we've had a lot of volume coming in on this uh, down move here at the moment it's been tested back on uh, decreasing volume and then the price has moved up through this resistance into this area here below just below the uh, breakdown point so we have to see if this will push up higher or sit here and cons consolidate for a while as you can see, you know, corrections, we've got a correction here. They take a while to play out. There was another one here. And so we're still in the early stages of this one at the moment, I think. Uh, we've also got the RSI down here coming up to the 50% line. Uh, whether that's just going to back test it and then fall away or come through it, we'll have to wait and see. So we'll have a look at the daily. Uh, on the daily chart, we can see, you know, we've had this big push down here. We had our automatic rally up through this resistance supply zone a big up thrust bar here then it's moved back down to test this area you can see here it's come back down on a lot less volume there than it was here uh, we've got the uh, we've got a positive um, divergence there on the uh, rsi as well and then we've had this big run up through this supply resistance area now uh, we're encountering the top of this previous um, bar here with a supply sitting up here and we had this short very narrow spread bar in the last session uh, on decreased volume so that looks like it looks like no demand at the moment that has to be confirmed by a closed lower so we may see uh, some some pulling back of the price next week back down into this area to test and then we will see where we go from there uh, if we push up I would say that we'll slow up when we hit around about this area where resistance sits too Okay, so next up we'll have a look at gold on the weekly. And we can see here that uh, gold is still in this long-term downtrend. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, it's pushed down through this support area here a while back and has come back up to try and push through there. But so far, uh, no change there. And again, the RSI here is still down below the 50% line. So I wouldn't be looking to take a trade on, on that just yet. And then if we have a look at the daily on that, we can see here that price at the moment is respecting that long-term downtrend line there and is stuck right in this supply resistance zone here. Um, and we've got, you know, we've had a push up here and we've got a bit of a clustering of closes and, and the close in the last session there was pretty poor. Um, actually, no, I think I was actually up the top there. It's being hidden by that little circle. So actually, that might not have been too bad there. So we may see that. If the markets come off a bit, we may see this actually push through there. We'll have to wait and see. So that's at a bit of a, uh, a trigger point there, possibly. And it has formed this short-term uptrend here, but still hasn't got back up to the, to the uh, supply line there. And it needs to really break through this line up here to be really positive. Okay, so we'll have a look at uh, on the next chart here. We've got oil, the long-term uh, outlook for oil there. We can see the weekly where it's formed this broad channel and it has broken down in this area here. We've got a lot of volume that's coming down here. So it looks like there's a, a lot of buying down there. Um, so that's about all we can really see on the weekly there. A bit of a break of this downtrend line as well. If we go to the daily, we can see that clearly here that it has broken that downtrend line and is now coming up to this supply resistance area through here. Um, and I would expect this to probably go sideways a bit longer yet. Um, again, you can see all this massive volume down the bottom here, all these volume swells. And I think that's just all smart money buying and they'll just wait and accumulate until they decide to take the price up again. Um, we've also got a divergence on the RSI here, which I think you can see clearer on the weekly chart so we can see here the the rsi made a, a low there and a higher low here whereas price did the opposite and that's very very telling so that leads me to believe that uh, there will be some uh, big rally coming in oil over the next few months and then i'll we we move on to apple you can see apple on the weekly here again been in this nice long-term uptrend uh, has had a bit of a pullback with the markets here big 
down bar here be kind of shake out bar here and then the price has attempted to move up it's kind of coming back down here now to uh, test again the rsi down below the 50 percent line uh, but heading kind of up towards it so i'll have to wait until we see that breakthrough which will probably happen when this downtrend gets broken uh, if we have a look in a bit closer on the daily we can see the same story here stuck in a bit of a sideways trading range at the moment um, whether the price will come back down into this area to test this big bar yet um, you'd expect that kind of volume to be tested so we may see another pull back down here yet uh, again we have to wait and see and again the rsi is um, kind of pushing up at the moment so we might see a bit of a break forward if the markets move up next week i guess this will go up if we see a bit of a pull over in the markets we might see it come back down into here and test that area we have to wait and see Thanks for watching this video. For notifications of all my free content as it goes up, head to www.mindfulsharetrader.com and subscribe to my newsletter. And if you found this video useful, please feel free to share it on your social media. And until next time, bye for now.